first. He used to wear a police uniform, but today this former officer was dressed for court, accused of working with drug dealers. Good evening, I'm Dominique Soxa. I'm Keith Garvin. Bill is on assignment. That former HPD officer just faced a judge, and we were inside that courtroom to witness some surprises. Local 2 investigator Jace Larson live for us in downtown Houston, right outside of federal court. Jace? Good evening to you guys. That former police officer appeared in that building and pleaded not guilty to the charge against him. He just turned himself in earlier in the day and was released on bond, so he'll presumably be spending tonight back at his house. All day today, I've been working sources to try and learn the most exclusive information and all of the details about how this case against him was built. This is former Houston police officer Marcos Carrion leaving court, facing a drug-related charge that could put him in prison for the rest of his life. He uh, maintains his innocence and is looking forward to his day in court. Local 2 Investigates has learned prosecutors have quite the case against him. He allegedly worked on behalf of drug dealers, providing security during drug deals and doing it all while he was employed as a cop. When the feds learned about his side job, they went undercover, setting up a fake drug deal and recording the whole thing. Carry on allegedly agreed to be the watchman at the fake drug deal, which took place in July at this U-Haul facility near Midtown. Carry on charged $5,000 to watch for other cops and run license plates of the other people around. During an alleged criminal act, sources tell me he was wearing his uniform, including his gun, and he came in his patrol car. A surprising development in court today that we weren't expecting happened late in the hearing when we learned after the investigation started, a witness in the alleged crime was shot. For that reason, prosecutors said they wanted carry on to wear a GPS monitoring device while out on bond. I think it'd be very clear that our client had nothing to do with shooting of any witnesses. If he did, he certainly wouldn't be standing behind us walking out the front door at this point. Sources tell me that the investigation into this former cop is very much ongoing and this will likely not be the last we hear of him. We're live in downtown Houston. Jace Larson, KPRC Local 2. Thank you, Jace. And Carry On is scheduled to be back in court in June.